Yeah, tapa tap. Okay. <laughs> so, dosto, even though I failed in dancing, Tera. but the proposal was successful, and I'm gonna answer the most asked questions regarding the proposal. Green card, my visa status, H1B, and most. But first, we have a challenge: dating in India versus America. Rules are simple. She's gonna ask me a question and I'm gonna guess how it works in America and she's gonna try to guess how it works in India. You start. So how much is the starting price for a matchmaker in Manhattan in New York City? So matchmaker as in like person who matches to people. Yeah. So matching as in like matches to family together or matching to people. Like based on what they want. I mean, like, in America, like a, the family is not involved. It's just the two people. Yeah. So how is it like dating app, but handled by a person? Yes, yes. So that's what you're saying. Yes. Okay. What's the starting cost? So I had never heard about matchmaker. I'm, there are matchmakers in India, right? There are, but I mean, in, I have never heard about them because usually someone in your family becomes a matchmaker for free. Oh. Like you know, that's how oh. I've seen. People meeting. Oh, okay. okay. If practically I have to guess, if an ad in India for matrimonial is like you know a few thousand rupees, so if 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 it even if it is ten times that in USA, it could be one thousand dollar, five hundred dollars. What? Well, well, but this is in Manhattan, New Man York. New York, like okay. the most expensive, one of the most expensive areas in the U.S. Oh yeah, and also it's kind of loneliest. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a pretty lonely, pretty lonely city lonely. too. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe like five thousand dollars. $10,000. Really? Yeah. $15,000. Okay. Oh. $20,000. Yeah. And if you get married, you have to give them a marriage bonus. I found out. Really? <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's motivation not to get married. I don't know. Really? Yeah. I mean, average cost of wedding in America is $30,000. And you're saying matchmaker is... But this is what? Manhattan, you renewer. This is like the most expensive area. So that means, like, I mean, even a dating course is cheaper than that. Like, why would someone pay matchmaker? Maybe they think that, like, having a real person, like, the, the insights and the perspectives of a real person is better than just going online. Or maybe they've just had no luck with, you know, dating apps. I so. see. I understand. Now, you answer for India. Can you guess? So should I guess in rupees, I guess? No, you can guess in dollars and I'll come convert. Okay, you're smart. Um, how about $1,000? Oh, according to Mumbai facts, it says that matchmaker costs around 50,000 to 60,000 to 1 lakh rupees. That's what Mumbai says. It might be cheaper in other cities. So that is around, how much did you say? A thousand? Yeah, that is around thousand dollars. Oh, hey, so I won that question. Yay. As you all might know that we met through a dating app. Well, and also we're going to get married. <laughs> and apparently around 25% of married couples in the US met through a dating app. Talking about dating apps, Coffee Mates Bagel is the dating app we recommend. Uh, and they create so many positive vibes that it's always worth trying. And Coffee Mates Bagel is so cool because when I created an account, if I mention that I'm looking for casual relationship, it says install Tinder instead. Yeah. Because this app is only for serious relationships to come into committed friendship and partnership. It Romantic relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The best ones have all of those. Yeah. And it's pretty safe for everyone too. Yeah. And of course, catfishing is a big problem. People use deep fakes and AI photos and you cannot guess. But Coffee Mate Bagels prevents that and keeps everyone safe. More than 91% people on this app are looking for serious relationship and safe for you to use. So what are you waiting for? You can click the link in the description below to get started and install the app right now. Average age of marriage in India for men and women. Can you guess? For the first marriage? Well, I guess in India, it's usually the only marriage. US, you know, you don't know. No, 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 um, it's, it, it's not true. I mean, many divorce cases happen in India too. So. so let's say 25 for women and 29 for men? No, according to the stats all over India, it might be different for metropolitan cities, but the reality is for most of India, it's around 25 for men and 22 for women. Really? Yeah, it's kind of young. Because like, you know, some cities might, people might be getting married very, very young. Oh. So. So can you guess the average age of marriage for men and women in the US? 
So for first wedding, second, third, or fourth, just like most of the people in America, not most, but most successful people I've seen. That's true. So first, first. One. okay. So first one I think is like usually people like get mature and then like you know that's what I think. So around my friend circle too, that is true. So around thirty one, thirty two for men and twenty nine, twenty eight, or thirty for women. Did you know that already? I'm a kind of yeah. I mean, it's common. It's a common discussion. Okay, fine. I'll give you the point on that. I guess. <laughs> So, one for you, one for me. Okay. So, at what point in the relationship do most couples in the U.S. break up? So, for most of these questions, surveys are very, very limited, right? But if I have to guess, it could be around, like, breakups, post breakups happen. Like, so, for U.S., <laughs> I think there are many short-term relationships. So, that's why I have to guess it should be 30 days, 2 30 months. Days. <laughs> 2 months, 3 months. That's what I think. Yeah, you're pretty close. 3 to 5 months. Wow. And can you guess for India? So this is just a breakup, right? Yeah, breakup. Between like an unmarried couple. Yeah. I mean, that's what like the definition one is. One month? One month? No, there are a lot, lot of long-term relationships in India. So according to some surveys I have seen, it is around two to three years. Oh. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. A big question. Now, when do couples in India play cricket after getting in a relationship? Cricket as in like Gappa Gap or other stuff? Uh, like Tapa Tap? Yeah, Tapa Tap. Okay. <laughs> uh, so like after how many dates? After how many days? Days? <laughs> I mean, after, yeah, after how many days when they start dating? <laughs> or months? Um, or years? Whatever you think. I'll say 100 days. 100 days, 3 months. Yeah. I mean, the answer is almost never because you are a mechanical engineer. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Jokes apart, according to some surveys in India, there are not many. It says around six to eight months. Oh. Yeah. Slapping is it? Do you think it's a lot? I'm just curious what you'll think about the U.S. statistic. That's all. So you? Oh, okay. If I have to guess for U.S., I personally think it could be like. 24 hours or like two hours it's not that bad <laughs> so how many dates how many dates oh uh, so dates i'll say like half just kidding okay i think it's two to three dates three dates four to six four to six. Oh, really are you impressed because i mean dates around me haven't been like that but what <laughs> They, I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just talking about other couples around me. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but yeah. I'm talking about other people you know. Yeah, people I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. When does the first kiss happen? Which date? I mean, it's definitely first date. Otherwise, some people say a lot of love gurus say the date is not successful if it is not on the first date. So if I have to guess, it should be within like three hours of the first date. So I actually read that it usually happens on the second date. Really? Yeah. Oh, but that's not what Prem Bhai said. Just kidding. Like I don't know who that is. I mean, I, I'm just one talking about love gurus. Oh. <laughs> Are you a love guru? No. I don't know. Some of your friends might say something different. Okay. <laughs> Some of your subscribers. Oh, no. Okay. For India, can you guess? How many dates or like, should I do like a time frame or? <laughs> I would think about days, I think. Days? Yeah. 30 days. I'll say this is again, very subjective. The surveys I've seen and around my friends, it has been around 20 to 30 days. Oh, so I won. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Just for kiss. Yeah. So they don't listen to the love gurus then. I mean, there are love gurus in India. But it sounds like people don't listen to them very much. I mean, I'm talking about the love guru knowledge that I was talking about was for US. In India, I don't oh, know. I've oh. never dealt with love gurus in India. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I was talking about the love gurus I've seen in US. Oh, okay. And by that, you mean one you've seen? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe your subscribers can guess who it is. Okay. <laughs> Most common way that couples meet on their first date. Like a dating app, matchmaking, like love guru, like you tell me. 
Can you guess for India? I'd say relatives. We like link them up. Like you link like <laughs> which link you're talking about? But anyway, through their hearts. Their ah, hearts. that's how you should yeah. say. They yeah. do. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah. Dilly? Yeah, just like coffee meets bagel. But yeah, so, okay, so the answer is right. Yeah, friends, family, relatives. That's what I was talking. That's the matchmaking I've heard in my families. And so US? For US, I think the most common has to be, if I have to guess, I have no idea. Oh my gosh. I personally think dating app, the most common. And, and it should be fair number through friends, family too. And it should be fair number through bars, clubs too. So Wait, so which one's number one? Number one, okay. Uh, this is a very tough question. Dating app. Yeah! Very, how, what percentage? 40. Wow. Yeah, and that's definitely changed a lot in like the past few years. That is a big number. Yeah, also 30% of Americans have done, have like gone on online dating apps. 30%, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think it could. It was an easy guess because I've seen like people even at, even at the age of 50, 60 also go on dating apps. So it's a very common thing. So in the U.S., what percentage of men pay on the first date? Like pay the check. Oh. Okay. I have seen many couples say that 50-50 from first date. Rules are rules. So if I have to guess, it has to be between, and and also many couples it's like you know first date men should offer so it always comes down to women saying that i want to split and how is the fight of that splitting so it comes down to that so if i have to guess it should be 70 percent 70 80 60 80 something you like that you have to choose one one number <laughs> i mean range should be enough like 60 to 80 that's a pretty big range. Okay, 70 10, 80. 10, 70 okay, 80%. 80%. Okay, that gives you the point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and in India, I'd say it's the same, 80. 80? No, for India, as per the data says, it's around 90 to 95%. Oh. Yeah, even for the dates, I remember, I have only had one, but yeah. In but India? It, yeah. But it's like, you know. Wait, you had it one on a I was never offered to split. So in the US, what portion of workplace relationships end in marriage? You know, like people might have seen The Office, right? Where there's like Jim and Pam or whatever. Like what percentage end up with marriage? That's a very, very interesting question because we are always taught that like uh, there's so many quotes related to it. Well, like don't shit where you eat. Yeah. So I have to guess it should be less than 10% in the US. Because that I... End in Marriage. marriage yeah less than 10 percent so you want a specific number or less than 10 percent is enough that's fine yeah so 40 percent 40 percent yeah four out of ten yeah oh i think those 40 percent might be like you know like the big rich people they date their secretary or stuff like that just like iron man <laughs> right i mean i'm just guessing I I'm, I'm not going to make fun i'm just guessing like based on movies what happened? You don't think it could be like fair? Like it could be like people like working like at the same level at a company? I mean, usually people don't go for it. That's what I think. People. But you think the boss is just like, eh, whatever. So, oh, I think people might not be going through the same team. It might be same company. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. very 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 vague. That's more what I was. Thinking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> same team is hard, but same company. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I lost. And in India. Um, Yes. 20%. No. As per the data says, it's not. So you will guess again? 5%. No. So as per the data, it is 10%. It could be wrong, but like, like you know, there are not many surveys. Now the spiciest question. How many relationships in India are open? Like, it's a, it's a new trend yeah. that has happened. I'd say... Five percent? I'm not talking about marriages. It's yeah, yeah. all the relationships. Five yeah, percent. That's true. Wait, it's really? Five? Yeah, four four or five, yeah. Oh yeah, including marriages, including relationships. Yeah. But in America, if I have to guess, it has to be a big number. Uh it could be twenty, thirty percent. That's what I think. 
Yeah, 20%. Wow. Yeah, I was shocked to see that. I didn't wow. think it would be that high. I don't know if, I don't think I know of anyone in one. So it's like, oh. Oh, wow. Well, I think, I mean, we can add the points later, but I think, who won, you think? Who, who I don't was know. This? I wasn't really keeping track. The facts are just too interesting. So yeah. I wasn't really keeping track. So. But yeah, okay, it's anyway. It's tight because it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> and we both won in love. Yeah. We both won the dating game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So challenge completed. The biggest question, do you think I did the proposal to get green card? Because some people said that it's already on the way through UPS. By the way, it comes through UPS, USPS, I think. It doesn't, because that's government. It doesn't come through UPS. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we... I mean, you could see our other video, like we talk about getting married after I finish school. So I have a year left of school. And in the US, actually, on average, most couples are engaged for 18 months before they get married. So, I mean, the timing seemed normal to me. And also, you know, it was around my birthday. It was all my birthday. We were in a special place, so it made sense. And obviously I love her, so everything was planned not for any ulterior motives. It was planned because mm -hmm. I actually was serious about everything and our relationship and I trusted it. it. It is not about, I personally, according to me, it's not about you might think whatever you want to, but my goal was just to bring a smile. That's all. Yeah. And you definitely succeeded. Yes. Yeah, but not perfect. No, but that's not what mattered. What mattered most was all the effort you put in, all the thought, all the creativity. But regarding my visa status, so currently this was my third attempt for H1B and I had backup options like I had an option to go to uh, Canada office. I had that offer letter for MBA and other plans. Now you guess which option I'm pursuing in the comments below because I think not every question should have a direct answer. So let me know in the comments below what do you think and thank you so much for watching.